In this video, uh, I'm going to really quickly show you how to create a more Pinterest style layout uh, in Ionic. Now, I don't actually even have a Pinterest account, so I'm not going to bother logging in here. Um, but you can see uh, in the background um, sort of view of what Pinterest looks like. And you kind of have these um, cards with images on them and they're all kind of sitting one underneath the other. So we kind of have these rows of images, but they're not, you know, really conforming to this strict kind of table. They kind of flow to fill in uh, the space that's available. Now the default behavior uh, for the grid uh, with ion row and ion coal in Ionic uh, kind of does this, but I've got an example up here where uh, if you, you know, if you have a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of columns in your row, they will automatically flow on to the next row. Uh, as it reaches the end of the screen. But if you have inconsistent uh, image sizes or card sizes or whatever you're using, they don't kind of flow to fill in all the available space. There's kind of these rigid uh, rows. And so it's just going to be as tall as the largest image in that row essentially. So what we want to be able to do is have, say this 200 by 200 image here, we want that to sit up right next to the 175 and this 175 uh, image here should stay where it is and this one should move up and everything should fill in all these white spaces. And so there's a pretty simple way to do this just with uh, standard CSS and divs uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the default code we have here, this is just the Ionic um, way to do that. We have our ion row and an ion coal. Uh, we set the coal for uh, attribute here. So we have, um, I believe the total column size is uh, 12 for the width of the page. So that's going to give us three. Um, we're going to fit three columns uh, onto the screen. And you can see that here we have the three images and then we're just displaying the image. Now, instead of using that, I could instead use um, just some manually defined containers here. And if you're wondering, I do have in uh, the TypeScript file here, I've just defined a bunch of images and that's what we're looping over for the ng4. So we're doing a very similar thing here where we're looping uh, using an ng4, we're looping over all those images and displaying the image. Uh, we've just got our own div set up here with some custom classes. Now, if we take a look at what's going on in the CSS file here, we're just adding styles to that containing pins div and the individual pin as well, which will be that code will be duplicated for each image we have. And so all we need to do is just to find this property called column count here, and that's going to organize our uh, images into columns for us. And we set a column count of three, and then I've just added some styles to the individual pins so they display uh, properly. Uh, but the important thing here is the, the column count. So if I save all this and jump back into the browser, you can now see that the images are sort of flowing uh, one underneath the other now, whereas before, uh, when we use the, the ionic grid, uh, things were kind of stuck in those more rigid rows. And so I can easily just change the column count here. I can change that to column count four, and that's going to now organize our images into uh, four columns instead of three. And so maybe if I just, um, I'm gonna duplicate these a bit more, just so we can see the effect on a, a larger scale. Uh, make sure I don't miss that comma there. Uh, so let's take another look now. So you can see everything here is flowing one underneath the other and these big chunky 300 tool uh, images aren't really causing us any problems. Uh, so there is more you can do of course with the, uh, the column count property here. Um, but I just really wanted to quickly show you an example of how to create that Pinterest style layout. And I guess it does highlight that while the you know, Ionic components are certainly useful in a ton of uh, cases, you can still just do normal web things and create your own uh, styles and everything as well. So uh, I hope this video was somewhat interesting and I'll see you on the next one.